So, as we have seen that the synchronous machine is having a three phase supply. to the stator and this stator actually is we can have this three phase supply in such a way or this way we can have this three phase supply where this current and I can have my synchronous machine here like this and this synchronous machine is actually coupled to a DC generator which is actually mounted on the shaft only. So I can remove this shaft right now and I can have <coughs> this shaft over here and I can have the field windings separately over here. Which is uh, generator, which is a DC generator mounted on the shaft of the machine. And I have the field current I F going over in the DC generator and this DC generator will be producing a pipe and which will be actually generating my rotor MMF or I can say the rotor will become the electromagnet. So <clears throat> since there will be a generated here the generator E will be there EMF will be generated that's why I will be generated then the plus pi will be generated or this you can remove this plus pi right now because this is giving the electromagnets this is becoming the electromagnets so now coming to the discussion back since the current I will be flowing here and since the, this three phase stator winding is having some reactants, the stator reactants XS over here, and the current is coming after that I. Uh, back EMF will also be generated as we have seen in the DC machine also, that back EMF will be generated that is EB and in there we have seen this is my 3-5 supply <clears throat> so I can say one more thing that since the EF back EMF EB we know that is directly proportional to and s into phi as we have already seen this this relationship in DC machine also that EB the back EMF is directly proportional to your speed phi and ns. Now since this ns is constant so I can say that back EMF EB is directly proportional to the flux. Which flux? The flux produced by this phi. So if by decreasing my flux phi uh, or by decreasing my flux phi, I can decrease my EB that is the back EMF. And what is the uh, use of decreasing my if uh, phi? We will see that. Consider that the rotor or the my stator MMF is moving like this and my rotor which is over here since 
my stator is moving at the speed of ns but obvious my rotor will also be moving at the same speed ns so since phi is moving with ns the rotor is also moving with ns so the rotor event which is getting produced will also be in phase with the stator mmr so the current which will be uh, the current will also be in phase with that so i can have one more thing that rather than writing over here this is the e which is he this e so this e will be in phase with this e b which is getting produced here e and e b will be in phase so <coughs> at no load this e and e b will be here and e and e b will be equal e and e b will be equal so i can say that if this this is the condition when i is equal to 0 so at no load e and e b are equal when the load increases this the current starts going up and at that time suppose this is my e i can have a smaller e b at that time so the minus e minus e b will be smaller than this again approximately this much e minus this would be e minus e b so the current since this act because of this excess the reactance we know that the inductance or in a coil the current lag the voltage so current will be exactly 90 degree behind my eb so first condition what we have seen that e and eb was equal and they were in phase at that time so there was no current and uh, this was e and eb in the second case what we have seen that e is greater than eb and at that time e minus eb would be less than the eb and from that i current is uh, lagging by 90 db in the third case if i am able to increase the eb by increasing the pi so i can have this as eb and i can have e over here so at that point at that point my e minus e will be in the negative direction this will be e minus e b i can write this thing this relationship here over here e minus e b so the current will be lagging behind e minus e b by 90 degree again so this would be my current i so i can have one uh, very important very strong relationship about the synchronous motor is that that by increasing or decreasing the e b i can actually increase or decrease the power factor of the machine that is since here power factor is lagging by 90 degree here the power factor is actually leading by 90 degree if you can see power factor is lagging sorry leading out in this case in this case it is leading in this case it is lagging so by merely increasing or decreasing ev which is the function of phi i can increase and decrease the my power factor accordingly i can so this since we have uh, already know uh, learned this fact that the synchronous machine are, are normally capped on low load in some industrial areas uh, such to uh, have the power factor correction so this is the reason that by increasing or decreasing the phi uh, we will increase or decrease the eb and thereby increasing or decreasing the the uh, angle between the P and I which is clearly shown over here. 
So I can have a arrangement such that uh, the current which will be leading in this case where my machine is overexcited when EV is there. 